Hello and welcome to ActRaiser for the Super Nintendo. This is a platform stroke city building game, which is rather unusual to put it mildly. Um, nothing like it had come out before, um, and it was great. I'd never played anything like it, and you know, I like the platform action, and I also like the sim part of the uh, game. Absolutely fantastic and in fact you know I really really got into the sim part a lot more than the platforming part uh, when it came down to the crunch after I played the game for quite a while um, you've basically got to take a civilization of people uh, and lead them on and let them spread across the world um, and you have to basically take out the areas initially in the platforming section and um, you'll zoom down into the, the landscape with your hero uh, and, and and take out the monsters once you take and come through the level and take out the end boss the area was then clear for you to um, start the old sim bit and the mode 7 was phenomenal in this game well where it was in it it wasn't in it a lot but th the sections that took you into the levels were tremendous uh, and it really added a little sort of touch to the game now the platform sections were very good, very tough, quite difficult, you really had to learn what you was doing. Um, the first few times you play it you'd, you'd practically lose all your energy, you would, you'd either die obviously on the way to the end boss or if you got to the end boss you'd de most assuredly be completely dead if you hadn't got the energy. Uh, little sub bosses like this, very nice. Nothing by today's stands, I suppose, but um, you know, it's uh, still a really, really nice looking game in general. Did I say the end bosses were tough? Yes, they were tough, uh, as I'm demonstrating here quite nicely. Um, unless you remember the patterns, you could be in deep trouble. Uh, and you had only got so many lives to get through this. So if you managed to die, guess what? You would start again from the start. Yep, it's one of those games. But you know, that was all one of those games at the time. Let's face it, there weren't many games that you could save your progress in part way through. There weren't really checkpoints in many games like that. It just was the standard for the time. So it can sort of rankle a bit when you've got all the way through to the end boss. And then he kills you. And he kills you. And then, oh, it's back to the start again and that dreaded platform section that took all your energy in the first place. But, you know, you'd get into it, you'd learn the, the, the actual patterns, uh, and it'd make you better at the game, and you'd soon start flying through, no problem. No problem at all. And this end boss caused me a bit of grief, I must admit. Like I say, the music in this game was absolutely phenomenal, very orchestral, just fantastic, really showed what the SNES could do in the sound department. Uh, there weren't many games that got better than this when it came to sound. I mean, there were some good games on the SNES for sound, you know, most of the games had really good sound, but this was exceptional at the time. Really, really showed it off. And yes, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm doing a bit better here against the Emboss. Still struggling a little bit, not got much energy. Will I manage to kill him? He's, he's almost dead, look. I'll, I've got him, I've got him sussed. No problems. Well, almost no problems. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Kill him now. Ah, he doesn't want to die on that last hit. Yes, victory. So, once you defeated the level, you were onto the actual strategy part, where you had to listen to your people, they ask you to do things like clearing bushes, uh, with your lightning and that sort of thing, destroying rocks, um, telling them which way to go, that sort of thing. There's all sorts of different things you could, like later on there was crops, you had to you know, use, the, use the rain power on the crops to help them grow, that sort of thing. You can see there's wind options there as well, sun, sun was for the crops as well. Earthquakes, I think that was for other, you know, doing damage to areas so you could open them up uh, and get to some more stages. Uh, I can't quite remember, it's been been many years since I've played Actraiser. Um, 
But this section was great. I really loved it at first. I thought, what in the name of, you know, oh my god, what is this? What is this thing? But, you know, I really got into it quite quickly. Uh, I sussed out, you know, okay, we've got a bit of a different sort of game here than I thought. I thought it was just going to be action packed platform action all the way. Um, but what you have to do is you have to save your people who have just been uh, taken by the monsters there, the big birds, big bat things, and also the uh, other monsters that sort of rain fire and destruction down. So you've got to keep them safe, tell them where to go, tell them what to do, uh, and slowly take out the layers. You could push the city to be built in one direction or another. Um, like you can see there, the town's under construction. Um, you can't build out the rivers to start with, they have to actually work out how to build bridges. Uh, but they do, obviously, uh, eventually as the game goes on. I think you have to destroy all the um, portals on their side of the river and then you get the option to actually build across with a bridge and destroy that final portal there. And then that'll take you through to the next section. Um, brilliant game. I just can't I just can't say enough good things about this game. It just was an absolute classic. Yes, they did drive you mad occasionally with things that they want you to do. I mean they sometimes ask you for something, they sometimes give you an offering and you can accept the offering and increase your powers. Uh, and of course with this game, well not of course, of course, if I can say of course at that many more times, um, you could level up your character. You actually got XP points, you know, every time you shot them you was gaining more power. Uh, every time they expanded the civilization, uh, you'd get more power. As you can see here, it's happening here, lovely. You would find in this game that this is the main part of the game. There's not too much platform action in comparison to how long you spend on these levels. But that was fine by me. You know, once I got used to it and, and knew what I was doing, you know, being in Japanese, it was slightly tough. Um, I loved it. I just loved it to death. And did I say they annoy you by keep coming and talking to you all the time? Yep, they certainly do. But it's part of the game. And, you know, it sort of broke it a bit, you know, you're busy killing things there, you get this message, like, oh crap, come on, no, I just wanted to kill him. But, uh, yeah, really good. I, I just, I just can't, I, I'm just loving coming back to playing it, actually. Um, I, I'm surprised it's held up as well as it has, I mean, I remember it fondly. Definitely roast tinted spectacles here. But, um, no, I think it deserves all the praise it can get. It is absolutely brilliant. And there they were, just taking out the, the monster's lair, the final monster's lair. So then we shall be able to go through and attack the next stage. Well, not the next stage, this is the way leading on to the next stage, this is to finalise and make this kingdom fully safe and free of all monsters. Like I said earlier, the music in this game is absolutely phenomenal. Top quality. And I'm going to keep quiet now for a bit and let you listen to it. Ha 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 
Yes, there's not really anything bad I can say about this game. Um, it holds up well, even today. I mean, you look at some of the platformers that you can buy today, um, and this is frankly better. Better graphically, just better put together. Um, not all platform games, of course, but, um, you know, this is just in a league of its own. I mean, this is when they knew how to make platform games. And obviously, it's not just a platform game. The simulation side really sort of chucked in a new gameplay for me. I'd never played anything like it before, and it sort of allowed me to start playing, or got me into sort of look at more sim type games in the future. And now I, I, I like well, I like a lot of them. I like things like Tropico and things like that. I'm not so much a Sim City fan. That doesn't really interest me. It's a bit. You know, it looks. It's well. It interests me, but the actual execution of the game just doesn't do much for me. And as you can see, the end bosses are pretty tough until you learn their particular attack patterns. He kept dropping on the head. I kept trying to run away, but he was, he was getting me quite regular here. Uh, but I sussed him out pretty fast. Can't remember anything about the uh, attack pattern, so I was coming at it pretty fresh, really. Um, but yeah, I won. Look at that. Victory is mine. So, really, um, to sum it up, all in all, I, well, I'll, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for me. Absolutely classic. And if you haven't got a SNES, beg, borrow, or buy one. I'm not going to say steal, because that's not very nice, is it? You wouldn't want to do that. Get an emulator. Um, you know, it may be available on some compilation pack of old SNES games uh, on newer consoles possibly, I couldn't say. But until next time, I'll catch you later.